Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I'm Stephanie, my sisters. So today, well tonight, we came to see Nightmare Alley. That is right. We did not come to see Spider-Man. That's tomorrow morning. Uh, so look out for that video then. Also, side note, this is like the first time, like you guys, this, like the way the theater is right now, like it's packed. Like this is like before like COVID, like this is like an actual Friday night with all the damn annoying teenage kids. <laughs> I'm like, if y'all just don't shush up, I was so happy with y'all, like, non-existing here. Anywho, you guys, like Sorry. I said, we came to see Nightmare, that was her little rat, Nightmare Alley. This is Guillermo del Toro's newest film. I do enjoy Guillermo, uh, Guillermo del Toro. I don't know, like, all his filmography. Like, I really don't know everybody's like that. But he does, well, he did direct one of my favorite movies of all time, which is Pants Labyrinth. Let me, let me reach out to some notes, you guys. Cue the fact sheet. In 1940s New York, down on his luck, Staten Carlisle. I don't think that's how you say his name. Carlisle? Yeah, Carlisle. Okay. <laughs> Endears himself to a clairvoyant and her mentalist husband at a traveling carnival. Using newly acquired knowledge, Carlisle crafts a golden ticket to success by swindling an elite and wealthy. Hoping for a big score, he soon hatches a scheme to call an dangerous tycoon with help from a mysterious psychiatrist who might be his most formidable opponent yet. Now we do have an amazing uh, cast starting off with Bradley Cooper, he plays Stan, we have Rooney Moore. I don't think I've seen Rooney Moore in something in uh, quite some time to be honest with you. Then we also have Kate Blanchett, she is the like psychiatrist who kind of teams up with Stan, uh, William Defoe. he's always great in everything, he's one of the carnies. And then we also have uh, Ron Perlman. Now this movie is definitely not gonna be for everybody, it is more of a here type of movie. It is absolutely beautiful, it's more of a film noir. And we're gonna go ahead and get to them before I go do mine. I'm gonna try to keep this brief because I really wanna get this video up tonight. So I'm gonna go sleep late so tomorrow morning I can focus on Spider-Man. Um, but what did um, you guys think about it? I like that it is a different, I don't know what I expect. was expecting. I don't think I saw the trailer for this one, but it was, it was cool. Like, but, today i was like super sleepy but i try to keep keep away because i really wanted to see what was happening even though i did expect the ending i'm like like through the middle of the movie i'm like this has to go in a circle it has to mm -hmm. so i was waiting for that but some stuff happened that i was not prepared for i was like what not expecting it some some stories it was like very weird mm -hmm. i was like I'm still not sure about one thing. No spoilers though. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Little side, side, side thing. That's what I think. Away from the spoilers now. <laughs> yeah, but that was it. Like, I, I really enjoyed it, and the colors were different. Like, it was more of that time, of course, more like dull looking, but still cool. That, that's it for me. I love Bradley Cooper. Mm -hmm. uh, like he's a gorgeous man, and wow, the transitions, the changes that he went through in this movie mm -hmm. are like wow. Like you said, it's not for everybody because it is kind of slow. It's kind of it's kind of slow as far as like the storylines, mm -hmm. but I get it. It does actually give you that 1940s feel movie. Yes, <laughs> I kind of got left though with some pending endings on like certain characters so it, it, it left me wanting to know what else mm -hmm. I don't know if I'd see another movie like that uh -huh. uh, I guess since I already know the backstory I'm I would but mm -hmm. at the same time I was like uh. but I enjoyed it like that's where I said I, I'm, I'm tired mm -hmm. <laughs> so with the pace that it had it was mm -hmm. hard for me to to keep focused but I wanted to know what's happening what what's happened? next yeah. what's next what's next what's coming what are you gonna do now are you really gonna make this decision mm -hmm. are you really gonna go that way okay I'm not gonna really rant too much you guys um I, I I say that now but I don't know okay so just like they said I love and I have said earlier I love the absolute look of this movie like I said it's a film it's a noir type film we're set in the late 1940s I believe it was mm -hmm. you have that feeling like the Toro really took you to that time era. He shot it so beautifully. The way that he used the shadows and everything, like there was this one scene with uh, Kate Blanchett, like the, the, 
Black, Black, no, I don't think I said her name. The psychiatrist, when she's talking uh, to Stan um, in her office and she kind of stands in front of him and you see like that little shadow in between her eyes. I don't know if you caught yeah. that. I just trips me out with all the smoking that was involved back there like <laughs> everywhere. Uh, <laughs> give this video a like if you were around <laughs> with all the smoking, like the non-smoking smoking section, like if it gave a damn, made hey. a point. I, I was around when I was around there too. <laughs> I, I truly, truly enjoyed everybody's performance. Um, it's not a scary movie mm -hmm. whatsoever. This is more like a crime thriller in a way. Um, mm -hmm. Also, like Desiree said, that ending. I mean, there were things about it that I, I knew certain things. But like a certain thing that that person did, I didn't see that coming. Also, like it, it's slow base, but it moves. I wasn't tired, you guys, comprisingly enough. This one, though, um, it's like about two and a half hours. Um, they definitely cut a cut back on it. There are some shots, some scenes that linger on a little bit too long. But it's like it also has like a purpose to it. If that makes sense. It gives you a chance to really see and explore and appreciate the scene. Do y'all hear these yeah, cups? Yeah. I'm telling the people. Yeah, here. It's a cop car right there, you guys. I wonder what's happening here in the theater. It's all those damn kids, that's what's happening. Y'all should see them out in the front. Just crowded up in there. As long as everybody stays safe, it's all good. I know, I know. I never did that as a teenager, you guys. So I just, I'm just saying, it annoyed We weren't me. never allowed to do any of that. I know. I had manners and I was never about that life. That'd be thug life. So at the end of the day, you guys, I really, really, really love this movie. It was great. Um, it's It was wonderful, you guys. I totally recommend it. Uh, before we do give you our scores, if you haven't yet, don't forget to give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell um, so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. We have made our 400 subscribe count, so now we are on the road to 500, you guys. Also, we do have quite a few videos coming your way. Again, we have the Spider-Man movie tomorrow. Tomorrow. Um, I am gonna be ranking all the Spider-Man movies. I know I probably shouldn't be saying that in this video, and shit, but I'm gonna pre-warn you because I'm gonna tell you in that one as well. Um, and then of course we have all the end of the year stuff going. I'm sorry you guys, but I, I just I didn't have to. End of the year, I don't have time for Christmas movies. I do apologize. Maybe next year I'll try to incorporate at least one Christmas movie movie video like I did last year but it just didn't work out this year um, unfortunately but I did do a collab with Jacob so you guys can uh, check it out in that little card I think I can attach it I think I can attach somebody else's card here if not you can find that down below um, we reviewed jingle all the way all right guys so um what are you giving it? Medium. Thank you. More of a combo. I liked it more than medium, but less than large. So medium with the Coke. And candy. And a candy. Yeah. Okay, we're just putting the medium Coke. We don't go all the way to the candy bar here. But I'm giving it a large. I really love the movie, you guys. If you've seen Nightmare Alley, let me know down below. What did you think about it? Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Are you planning on checking this out or skipping on it? What is your favorite Del Toro movie? Now, this one is only available in theater, so hopefully you can check it out. All right, until next time, see you guys at concessions. Bye.